I'm Nina Crouchman and I have recently rode across the Atlantic as part of Mr and Mrs. Started rowing 10 years ago um, when three or four people in the pub decided they wanted to set up a rowing club. I was never ever going to go on the water. I don't like the water. They often went out and they were one person short. There was no ladies rowing at that time and I'd often jump in the boat, learn to row and make up the numbers. I decided to row the Atlantic probably four years ago um, and looked into it and decided that at that time, because I had this fear of water, I would never get through the sea survival courses or get through all the courses that were needed. Also, financially, uh, it wasn't viable to do it on my own, so I dismissed the idea. Over lockdown, Simon, my husband, said, do you still want to do it? I said, yes. The cause was to raise money for the Samaritans, particularly again over lockdown. We lost a friend to their own life um, through suicide, so we decided that we were going to raise money for the Samaritans. We've been preparing, or we have been preparing for two and a half years, rowing a lot. Um, also, it's not just about rowing, it's about um, building up strength in your body. We also had to build our mental strength up. So be prepared for a split second, any time of day, be able to react. Toughest part was probably the last 10 days. The weather threw everything possible at us. We knew from our weather forecast that we were going to have waves of four metre high, which we did get. So you'd be rowing along, you're down here, and all of a sudden you're looking up there, and you are hoping and praying that that's going to break before it gets down here. Then you'd get an odd freak one coming from the side. Um, in those last 10 days, there was one occasion on a Sunday night, I was knocked off my seat 11 times. You rowing along and suddenly you get slammed right in the corner because the, the waves will just pull you right off your seat. The feeling was amazing going into the harbour. Um, a, a relief that we'd finished, it'd been a long time and particularly the last 24 hours had been extremely hard getting into the harbour. Going into the finish was real elation. The super yachts were all honking their horns. You had people coming out on little rafts, everyone shouting and cheering. But yeah, it was it was a relief to finish, but an amazing feat that we you know we'd actually done what we've done, which still does not feel real. Outlook on life is that take each day as it comes. Remember to talk to people you haven't seen for a long time. So, uh, yeah, um, anything is possible. That's the outlook on life, which it is. There's always there's always a solution.